Okay, so look, look at this van right here. The guy parked with less than a foot between my car and his. He's a fucking jackass. So I had to get in from my passenger side. Ridiculous. And now I'm gonna have to try and get out without fucking hitting his car. Stupid douche. And I can see, look, he's got fucking scrapes along the side of his car. Like, he doesn't give a shit about his own vehicle. He's got a rusted piece of crap. He obviously doesn't give a shit about anybody else's because he doesn't give a shit about mine. He doesn't give a shit about his own, so he doesn't give a shit about anybody else's anyway. Ugh, irritating. This guy's like right on the line, and I was like a foot away from the line. If he had parked normally, I'd have been able to get out. I'm so fucking irritated. Anyway. Neither here nor there. I forgot to put my sunglasses on. Shit. Alright. Heading home now. So, I want to talk about what happened recently in Berkeley last couple of days, or last day, day or so ago, in Berkeley they had that, I gotta call it a riot, it wasn't a riot, it was a, there was a free speech rally by Trump supporters uh, in Berkeley, and Antifa showed up, of course, as they always do, because, you know, anybody who supports Trump is automatically a Nazi, um, so, uh, so yeah, they showed up, and of course, it ended in violence. Violence that the police decided they were not going to bother intervening in. After disarming the ralliers, they, you know, they asked the ralliers, please, you know, get rid of your, get rid of your shields, get rid of your poles, get rid of your sticks, and, you know, you can have your rally, and we, you know, we'll be there, we'll make sure that no violence breaks out. Uh-uh. So, the Trump supporters, the, the free speech ralliers, they show up, they do what was asked of them by the cops, and then, of course, Antifa shows up, and uh, nobody disarmed them. They weren't part of the rally. They just appeared to disrupt. And they were throwing M80s, throwing wine bottles and glass bottles and bricks, smoke bombs. Uh, they didn't have sticks either, I guess, but you know, that didn't matter. A guy with a bike lock decided to smash some guy's fucking skull in. Smash his skull in. I'm exaggerating, but this guy at uh, one of the Antifa guys had a U lock bike lock. You know, those U lock, those big U bar, you know, locking mechanism. And uh, there was some dude just on the rally side, he was crouching down. I think he was taking pictures with his phone or something. And while these two other people are barking back and forth at one another, this guy with the U-lock just leans in and cracks him in the skull. Blood starts gushing everywhere. This guy gets up and goes, fuck! And he goes over to where the medics were, gets treated, being completely stoic the whole time, you know, grinning ear to ear, like, you know, don't worry, I'm not a wuss, no big deal. Uh, he probably ended up going to the hospital. I, I have no doubt that he probably had a concussion. He was hit pretty hard. Not enough to knock him down, because he stood right up, but enough to, you know, tear his scalp and draw blood. Of course, all the media is, is talking about is this poor dreadlock girl who got punched in the face by a guy in a blue collared shirt, short blonde hair. You know, as though this imagery is, you know, is the image that should define the narrative, right? She, uh, she's been dubbed Moldy Locks by the internet. Someone on 4chan wants to give her the name Snatch Squatch. I guess to draw an allusion to her career as an amateur fetish porn actress. Apparently she does fetish porn where she, you know, takes pictures of herself. I don't know if she engages in sex acts, but she takes pictures of herself naked, unshaven. She doesn't groom herself, and apparently that's a fetish that some people are into. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so Moldy Locks, uh, she got punched in the face, but what you're not finding, you know, in mainstream media or anywhere else, is that apparently she had been throwing bottles all afternoon, and, uh, according to somebody on 4chan, she was 
putting M80s into bottles and throwing them. Creating a explosive shrapnel device, which if I'm not mistaken is a felony. Um, if that can be proven, then hopefully she gets charged. But, uh, but you lock man and moldy locks, you know, these people are bad actors, right? I'm not saying that the rally, the ralliers didn't also engage in violence. They surely did, but they were there for one purpose, to have a free speech rally in Berkeley. Antifa came up to disrupt that event. That was their whole purpose. And this woman, Moldy Lux, she had a, uh, she had a Facebook post where she said as much. She says, I'm gonna go to Berkeley, uh, collect a hundred Nazi scalps. You know, and everybody's like, you go girl. Um, she was fully prepared. She, she went there for the express purpose of engaging in violence. So, I mean, and I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't have any sympathy for her because she's a girl. I wouldn't want to misgender anybody, you know, that'd be a microaggression. And I'm in, I'm in favor of macroaggression. So. I don't, I don't have sympathy for her though, because uh, if you go there with the express purpose of engaging in violence, and then violence gets <laughs> its a response to, from people, uh, you know, you reap what you sow, as they say. So anyway, but the media is all over her. She's their she's their new darling, this woman, uh, because you you know clearly she was. Uh, a victim of Nazi aggression. Just look at the guy's haircut. I just got my haircut. People accuse me of having a Robert Spencer haircut. I think it's more Paul Joseph Watson, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I just I don't I don't understand what's going on. I think it's a little crazy. This this free speech rally turned riot and I wouldn't even call it a riot because I mean there was no destruction of physical property there was just a bunch of random assaults going on between two people who two groups of people who uh, you know so diametrically opposed to one another no one can actually have a discussion and I guess there were areas take you know where there was discussion breaking out but it ultimately just turned into violence and it turned into violence because of a deliberate escalation on the part of one side. Not to say that the ralliers were not fully prepared to engage in violence themselves. They went there knowing what to expect, and you know, one might say they were they were waiting for it to happen. They were they were actually looking forward to it happening. Um, but let me let, let me put this forward: if Antifa had just stood there chanting and not throwing things, and not, you know, throwing sucker punches, and not bashing people in the head with u locks If they just stood there chanting, I don't believe that the ralliers would have initiated violence. I don't, uh, I don't think that's the case. And I'm not alone in that. Tim Poole, who was on the ground, said the same thing. You know, they went there, the ralliers went there expecting violence, prepared for it, but they didn't initiate any of it. Well, I mean, who, who can say for sure, right? It was a big event, lots of people there. Maybe maybe the first punch was thrown in one instance by one of the free speech ralliers. I don't know. Now this might not be a popular sentiment, and I might get some shit from people on the right, or people who were you know, more inclined towards the pro, you know, the, the free speech ralliers, and I am too, but I'm inclined to side with them more, but uh, Antifa gets routinely accused of being LARPers, being, you know, kids who live in their parents' basement, who like to LARP as revolutionaries. But... I mean, the guys, the guys on the other side are just as guilty of it. 
They're showing up in costumes as well. The difference is they're all dressed as individuals. They're not just as a black block. They're all dressed, you know, individually. One guy went shirtless with a with a Spartan helmet, for Christ's sakes. You're not a LARPer, buddy? Come on. But I mean, maybe, maybe he did it just to sort of poke fun at the fact that, that these guys were doing that. Yeah. I mean, that these guys were playing dress up. There are a lot of Captain America shirts. There are a lot of, you know, flag emblazoned co costumes and clothing. The whole thing's ridiculous. Um, but it's not surprising. And I said this in a previous video, and I was alluding to, you know, some writing by other people. I think, I think there really should be a national divorce in the United States before things get, before things get so bad that people start losing their lives. You know, there, people put forward the idea of having, you know, Cal Exit. Cal Exit being, you know, California should secede from the Union become its own little progressive little community of, of third wave feminists and progressive leftists. But the thing is, that's not fair to the people in California who are like moderate, reasonable. They, they, they now have to either leave or live in this authoritarian leftist nightmare but I do think there needs to be something done before it erupts in like violence where people lose their lives so yeah it collects it let's let's push for it let like California be its own little state um, see how well it does I'll turn into Venezuela real quick. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, will this ever happen in Canada? Uh, nicer weather's coming. Maybe there's going to be more rallies with more people showing up. And maybe there'll be more social justice retards showing up and causing shit. I mean, there was that thing at that Jordan Peterson event where Lauren Southern got assaulted. I mean, that's nothing. I mean, she basically got shoved. She's had, you know, urine thrown on her and glitter thrown at her and whatever. If she, uh, you know, she takes a U-lock to the head, then I think there'd be a problem. But uh, if you haven't seen any of this footage yet, and I'm sure you have, I'm not the first one to talk about it. Check out, check out uh, Shuttershot45, he's got a bunch of footage of it. He's been going to these rallies and these events where Antifa shows up and he's covering it. Uh, Tim Pool, of course, and Lauren Southern was there as well. Lauren Southern was there, I guess she was supposed to be a speaker at the event. And uh, I thought she was, you know, I thought she was there just as a journalist. So when I saw her after the smoke bomb went off and started, you know, blowing towards the Antifa and everybody started rushing them, and she's right there screaming at the top of her lungs. I'm like, oh, Laura, that's shameless. But I guess she was there as part of the rally. She wasn't there as just a journalist, right? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I think things are still pretty calm here in Canada, but I can see things getting crazy in the summer months. Uh, I can see Black Block showing up here in Canada as well. Anyway. That's it for me today. That's my video. Uh, I'm going to start uploading the VidMe. At the same time as I'm uploading to YouTube. I had to change the resolution of this video because uh, VidMe, because I'm not verified on VidMe, Vid uh, they have a limit to how much I can upload. Anyway, so uh, 
So yeah, you can see it on Vidme, you can see it on YouTube. I think I might close down my Facebook page, my Jimmy Wrestling Politics page. It's not getting any reach, and I don't, you know, I put it there initially to stop, you know, alienating my friends and family from all the political stuff on my main Facebook page. But I'll be honest, I think I might just close down my Facebook page altogether. I think Mines is the way to go. I think Mines is gonna, it's gonna start to s snowball and, and get more, more popular. So I might, you might just find this on Vidme and Minds, and it'll be on YouTube because that's still sort of the premier format or the, the primary format for videos. But I'll put it on both. But uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna push Vidme because the hope is I get verified on that, and I hope that I have more reach on that. Uh, I I understand from what people are saying, it's still got a few problems. Vidme, it's still a little clunky. But uh, anything's better than YouTube. YouTube is a shit stain. So is Facebook. So is Google. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.